for all of you out there, this is the Okeanos Explorer. We are starting dive seven. Today we are looking at a shipwreck, what we call Monterey B. It's the third in what we think may have been a fleet of three ships that all sank together and somewhere in the early uh, 19th century. This is the only of the three ships that isn't clad in copper, but it also seems ironically to be the best preserved of the three. The starboard side seems a little more exposed, uh, but then there's also a, a bulkhead towards the uh, aft end, aft quarter of the vessel. Uh, and there was some question about what appeared to be a mast, but it seems to be a little off center. Everybody take a look at the staining. You can really see the, the form, the lines of the stern here. Look here and you can see the edge of the planking, frames underneath. I believe this vessel has healed over. Does that look like it's sitting inside of another bowl? Uh, it could. It almost looks like it's huh? Could be. So this wouldn't be an hour, hourglass. It'd probably be a minute clock. These would come in seconds and minutes in their navigation. Ah, great. Thank you. You see, you see the gimbal, and you see the remains of the box. This, if it's not the compass, this may be what's left of this ship's chronometer. I'd like to look at the edges of them. One of the things that you sometimes will see is where they had laced and stretched them. But again, we just don't know a lot about the transport of these types of commodities. As you approach the bow, what we're gonna to wanna to do is take a look at the anchor, not only the form of the flukes, but also the stock or the body. We are diving on Monterey B. This is the third vessel in a fleet of vessels that uh, may have sunk together in the early 19th century. Sailing around in softwood, possibly pine-built, two-masted, unsheathed, iron-fastened vessels. 